And what is up everybody, Jeremy here, excited to bring to you another Starfield Creation Kit Supplemental video. This one's going to be supplementing tutorial number 12, the one we're creating a brand new ship tab module. This one's all about setting up those custom tabs and identifying a best practice on how to set it up because it finally dawned on me. I kind of talked about it during the tutorial, but I didn't do it. But this is a great way to avoid potential conflicts, not only with the base game or patches in the game, but also other mods that are out there. So there is a defined method. I talked about it, but I didn't do it. And yes, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel as everything does help out. And yes, this is part or supplementing a part of an entire tutorial series where you can learn how to create a mod for the very first time. You're learning how to get into modding and learning how to get into the creation kit for the very first time. Definitely check out this tutorial series. What you learn in 30 minutes took me six hours to figure out. So yes, it is super helpful. You'll be creating your very first mod in about 30 minutes. But yeah, let's talk about what we're doing today. If I zoom in to this top tab menu right here, you see Ramtech Habs. That is the custom tab I created in the, sh the ship builder for my modules here. And it's right next to the Habs tab. All right, keep note of that. Keep note of that. Let's get into the creation kit. Let's go. And while we do that, let's go over our files. What are we using? Data, it is the starfield.esm. Starfield We're using the sfbgs006.esm. This is the file, the patch that added all those empty halves. So it's definitely good to include this in here to help you avoid any other conflicts as well. And of course, I have my own file that I have in here. So yes, sfbgs stands for Starfield Bethesda Game Studios. Mm. All right, let's look up in our objects tab. We currently are set to all. Let's do a filter for hab variants asterisk demos. This is where we kind of are talking about the lists with the, um, it looks like I spelled, misspelled something. I spelled hab variant, very variant. There you go. All right. So you have these two different files. We have the SB, um, SFBG S06 add to list. So that's coming from the patch. And we have our standard files. This is the base game. So let's open up the demos two by one by ones. Once again, we're just looking at this. You notice that we have all the two by one halves in here, the two by one by ones, the all in one berth, the armory, the captain's quarters, everything that has the variant, all the variants that are relating to the demos hab. And in the bottom of this list, towards the bottom of this, we have this grayed out set, the demos all in one berth empty. So these are all the empty halves that were added in through a patch. And what's cool about this, and this is the best practice, it didn't dawn on me to just do it, but here it is. You want to add this set of um, items in this list through an another through another list. So this list is this part of the list has been injected in through another file, which is going to be this one right up here. The demos have variants, which the add to list version right here. So this is the one where you have all those empty halves right and at the bottom of it it says add to list and added to that list we should have been doing that for all the lists that we were we were touching that's yeah so that does not only just a best practice for all the tabs this is a best practice for all the lists if you have an opportunity to avoid editing a base file or already existing file or object you should do it because they could be updated in a later game or another patch or yeah, whatever. Or you could be conflicting with someone else's mods who's not doing the same thing that you should be doing, which is creating a, another list and injecting that list into an already existing one. So that's what you should be doing. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go back to our um, category tab or category list. The category, category and the filter will be ship module, module recipe. There it is, recipe categories. That's the file. All right, if I double click on this, you'll see my edit in here. Ramtech hab, right? It's right by the hab. So the only thing about this method is that it will only add your new list to the end of the list. And some of these, I think some of these are empty, right? Because I don't see them anywhere, right? I don't see habs, I don't see pipes, signs, or anything. I don't see that when, um, when in the editor. But this, yeah, I don't see pipe. No, no, nothing. Structure is there, no truss, no wall, and it has an outpost here too. Interesting. But yeah, or maybe, no. No. Is this part of the, um, no, no. 
<laughs> it's like, it's like, I'm so, it's like, did they, was this part of the outpost builder when you're on the ship? It's like, no, it's not there. So yeah, this is what it is. So I'm going to just delete Ram Tech Hab, right? Go back to what it was originally. And in the ID, wait, no, hit save first, hit save. So hit okay, well, it's funny. If you hit okay or save, it closes the window. I thought save would keep the window open. It doesn't, it closes the window. So go back, reopen it again. And then I'm just gonna make my edit. I'll create a new form, but just by changing the name, J Ramos works, underscore Ram Tech ship module recipe categories. So I'm just gonna also add to the name Ram Tech ship modules. Well, actually, um, I'll do Ram Tech. I'll do what it says, add to list. Yeah, yeah. Let's maintain that, add to list. So, it, so you know that this specific list is just adding to another one. All right, so I'm gonna delete all of these. All of these. All right, and then add in, add in my category, which I need it for. So this one, you need, you need to find the option set for this form, it's gonna be keyword, keyword. There it is. And then I'll do a search for Ram Tech, and I want the ship modules. No, not that one. This one, the category of ship modules, there it is. There, and then at the very bottom, let's add it to the list. So the list is going to be um, ship module recipe. I, I just typed in ship module. Yeah, there you go. So yeah, type it in as much as you can to just go directly to it in the list so you don't have to search this huge list, right? Ship module, just type it in again. Oops, ship module. All right, recipe categories. Boom, hit okay. Create a new form, yes. Now if I go back to the ship module recipe categories, you just see it's now injected at the end. There you go. This also means I need to edit the Ramtech Unlimited um, kiosk and cat and uh, was it crates? Containers. <laughs> I need to edit that mod because that's what I did for the outpost recipes. I edited the outpost recipes um, categories file, the list directly. So let me, let's look that up real quick. We're not gonna see the edit here because it's a separate mod now, categories. So yeah, this is the one that you can edit the categories for the outpost builder. So outpost recipe categories. So that's it. So I'm guessing, I'm guessing these, if there's nothing in there, it doesn't show up. Cause like, I know that these are, I don't see these in there. Well, of course, miscellaneous is huge. We, yeah, we have to click on that. Yeah, no, I don't see it. I don't see it. Huh. Anyway. So that's what I'm going to do. Let's go ahead and save this and see the difference in game. All right. So let's fast forward. Fast forward. All right, here we are. So let's go ahead and check out and see what this different method did to the tabs and you can see up there look it's not by it's, it's not by tabs anymore everybody so here you go it's not by habs <laughs> the tab is the new tab isn't by habs so if you go through it it's connected at the end so that's how it works but at least at least we're avoiding potential conflicts with other updates or other mods trying to make this more load neutral is it load neutral let me think that's true. Is there any? Is there anything else you should? I mean, yeah, pretty, it, I mean, at least this is right. Is there anything else you should load before this? Does it matter? I don't think it does, right? I mean, I guess there's a best practice for load order, but um, this should be load neutral now because it's not editing any base file, and you're pretty good about that. Yeah, I think so. Let me know in the comments. But other than that, guys, if you liked this video, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel as everything does help out. And beyond that, guys, don't forget this is a part of, an, or this is a, sup a supplemental to an entire tutorial series. I mean, this supplementing specifically tutorial number 12. But if you're learning to get into, if you're wanting to get into modding for the very first time and learning how to get into creation kit for the very, very first time, definitely check out this tutorial series, everybody. It will be super helpful. And yes, you'll be creating your mod in about 30 minutes. All right, guys, have yourselves, a <laughs> have yourselves a wonderful day. We'll see y'all next time. If you have any questions for me, please let me know, but beyond that, peace out. We'll see y'all next time. 
sending out the hearts as well. Thank you so much for all the love and support as always. Without you, just wouldn't be doing or doing. So thank you, thank you, thank you. See you again real soon, guys. Peace.